Now we are going to start with a slip knot. And we need to make a foundation chain of 26. So grab the yarn and pull through the loop. Grab the yarn and pull through the loop. Again grab the yarn and pull through the loop. Like this we need to complete a foundation chain of 26. Okay, now I have completed a foundation chain of 26. Now we are going to start the first row. Starting from the second chain from the hook we need to work a row of half double crochets. So this is the first chain, this is the second chain. So we are going to work into the second chain. Grab the yarn and insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through the chain. Then you have three loops on the hook. So grab the yarn and pull through all three. So that is the first half double crochet. We will make the second one too. Grab the yarn and insert the hook into the next chain. Grab the yarn and pull through the chain. Now you have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all three. Just like the same you need to continue until the end of this foundation chain. So by the end of this row you need to have 25 half double crochets all the way long. Okay, now I have completed 25 half double crochets and after that we are going to start the second row. So chain 1 and turn the work to start the second row. So the second row is also going to be a row of half double crochets. So we are going to start from the first stitch over here. Grab the yarn and insert the hook into the first chain over here. So grab the yarn and pull through the chain now you have three loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull through all three now the second one also we will do grab the yarn and insert the hook into the next stitch grab the yarn and pull through the grab the yarn and pull through all three likewise we can continue until the end of this row and chain one and turn the work and start the next row like that you need to complete another three rows of half double crochets so all together you should have four rows of half double crochets so complete another three rows and meet me back Okay, now I have completed four rows of half double crochets and after that we are going to start the letter. So, chain one and turn the work to start the next row. Before starting bubble, we need to crochet seven half double crochets. After seven half double crochets we need to make a bubble stitch. So to the next stitch we need to work a bubble stitch. So grab the yarn and insert the hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull through the stitch. Now you have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through two. Now you have two loops on the hook. Again grab the yarn and insert the hook into the same stitch. Grab the yarn and pull through the stitch. Now you have four loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through two. Now you have three loops on the hook. Again grab the yarn and insert the hook into the same stitch. Grab the yarn and pull through the stitch. Now you have five loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through two. Now you have four loops on the hook. 
grab the yarn and insert the hook into the same stitch grab the yarn and pull through the stitch now you have six loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull through two now you have five loops on the hook grab the yarn and insert the hook into the same stitch for the last time grab the yarn and pull through the stitch grab the yarn and pull through two now you have six loops on the hook so when you have six loops on the hook you can grab the yarn and pull through all six so this is a bubble stitch and for it to pop out we need to make another half double crochet to the next stitch okay now you can see the bubble on the other side after the bubble we need to make nine half double crochets we have already made one so another eight we need to complete then comes a bubble stitch after the bubble we need to make another seven half double crochets okay now I have completed the first bubble row so chain one and turn the work to start the next row after each and every bubble row we need to make a row of half double crochets so you can make another 25 half double crochets and meet me back Now I have completed a row of half double crochets and after that chain one and turn the work to start the second bubble row. So on this row you are going to work seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch, seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then nine half double crochets. okay then chain one and turn the work the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets now I have completed that row chain one and turn the work to start the next row so this row is going to be seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 5 half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 11 half double crochets now I have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work and then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets now I have completed that row chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then two half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 14 half double crochets then chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets now I have completed that row chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then one half double crochet and a bubble stitch then 15 half double crochets
now I have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work and then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets now chain 1 and turn the work and then the next row is going to be 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 2 half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 14 half double crochets now I have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work now you can see the letter K is gradually showing up then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets now chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then five half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 11 half double crochets then again chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets then chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch again seven half double crochets and a bubble stitch then nine half double crochets now i have completed that row chain one and turn the work and then the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work and then the next row is going to be 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 9 half double crochets and a bubble stitch then 7 half double crochets. Then chain 1 and turn the work now we have completed the letter so we need to complete another four rows of half double crochets to finish up the project so complete another four rows of 25 half double crochets and meet me back now I have completed the project so we need to chain one, pull the loop and then we can cut the yarn off. Then to hide the tails we can use the yarn needle, insert the yarn needle into few stitches. and pull it from the other side and you can cut the excess tail of yarn do the same thing to the other end too now we have completed the letter I hope I have explained it clearly for you if you like the video give it a thumbs up and you can share it too don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching